So these are differentiation of arc sin x, arc cos x, and arc tan x. Arc sin x means basically it's sine inverse of x. Similarly, it's cos inverse of x. So we will just see the derivation of these three trigonometric terms. So we have y equals arc sin x. So arc sin x is basically sine inverse of x. So if I can shift this sign here, it won't be sine inverse anymore. If I shift this at the left side, it will be sine y. Sine y equals to x. Just like uh, from this line, if you want to subject y, it's actually sine inverse of x, right? So we are just... We already have that line here. We are just going back to the original line. So we already have the inverse. So if we shift inverse at the left side, we will just have the normal sign at the left side of the equation. So sine y equals to x. That's the line. So we have here x equals to x equals to sine y. Now we will just differentiate this one. So basically we have x equals sine y. So dx by dy will be cos y, sine is cos, differentiation. But since we have to find dy by dx, we have to take the reciprocal of this, right? So we have dx by dy, but I need dy by dx. So that should be the reciprocal, cos y. But then again, as we can see, the answer is in terms of x only. And x was what? x was actually sine y. So we need something related to sine. So I can replace this cos with something um, we have in terms of sine. For example, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals to 1. So from this line, if I subject cos squared theta, I get 1 minus sine squared theta. And then cos theta is root over this. So cos y, I can replace that with 1 minus sine square y. And sine y is x. We have sine y whole square, so that's why x is square. So that's the derivation. So we have y equals arc cos, and we need to find dy by dx. So y is basically cos inverse of x. Because arc cos means actually cos inverse of x. So if I uh, shift this cos inverse at the left side, it will be only cos y. Cos y equals to x. So we have x equals to cos y, which we can differentiate in terms of y. So cos is minus sine. So we have the dx by dy, but we need to find dy by dx. So we have to take the reciprocal of this. So it will be 1 by sine y. And the answer has to be in terms of x. x is cos y. So the sine has to be replaced with cos. So the same formula sine square plus cos square equals 1. So from here if I subject sine theta it will be 1 minus cos square theta. Root over 1 minus cos square theta. And cos theta is cos y is actually x. So minus 1 by root over 1 minus x square. Done. So if y is arc tan, it means y is actually tan inverse of x. And we need to find dy by dx. But at first, we will just shift this tan at the left side. We get tan y equals x. So x is the subject of the equation. So we need to differentiate x. Since the equation is in terms of y, it will be dx by dy. 
and differentiation of tan is what differentiation of tan x is sec square x right so tan y will be sec square y so this is dx by dy we need to find dy by dx which will be 1 by sec square y the answer has to be in terms of x and x is basically tan y so we can use this formula sec square theta is what 1 plus tan square theta so we can replace this sec square with 1 plus tan square y and tan y is x so this will be 1 plus x square so done so we just covered the differentiation of arc sine arc cos and arc tan but then again if you need to differentiate the reciprocals of those things as an uh, arc of the reciprocals so arc cosec arc sec arc cot you need to follow the same process so these are the solution of those so these are the derivation of these three things But since these are in terms of cosec, cot, sec, so you need to use the table. You need to use those uh, derivation as in you need to know the differentiation of the trigonometric terms. Cosec, co oh, differentiation of cot is minus cosec. Differentiation of sec is sec tan. Differentiation of cosec is co minus cosec cot. So basically this is the table you need. You need to find the, you need to know the differentiation of the trigonometric terms. And then you can use those to actually derive different formulas or you can even apply them to solve math. So yeah, this is the table unit for which includes the differentiation of these trigonometric terms that you need for your P3 exam.